everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Sunday, May 18th. My name is Angela. And my name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It is a social experience because I don't look at you. I look at the chat room which I have here on my iPad. Oh, the chat room. I've got that full screen on my screen. It's over there on a monitor where we can see yeah. ourselves. It doesn't really matter, though, Angela. Well, no, 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 no. This one is the one that doesn't no, matter. No, no. No, I've okay. decided that one doesn't matter. All right. Here's it's why. It's in the best lower third. Exactly, which has been built from Adams, so that's important because of science. And the lower third yes. is joining us over at jblive.tv on this Sunday afternoon, just following the Linux Action Show. Yep. And they're going to, they're essentially like a third co host, but all like in one combined internet voice. Mm hmm. Right there. Individually. Something like that. <laughs> Individually. So, what are we talking Individually about? Together. Hey, Ange, what are we talking about today? Well, so I kind of joked, but when I got here to Rakai and Chris, that um, neither one of them had any idea what the show was going to be about. So, yeah. I was like, well, it's science facts. It's a little surprise. In fact, you even asked me not to open up the show notes. So, yeah. I have no idea what's even in the show notes. So, <laughs> so, so I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it turns out there's a fact that we didn't actually land on the moon. And they both just like looked at each other and then just started laughing. <laughs> it was so great. Right, we, so, were you trolling me? I was. Oh my gosh, Ange. <laughs> because I thought this was going to go down a road that I was going to have to be like, honey, you crazy. <laughs> yeah, and then Rakai's like, well, I don't know if this is Cybite or Unfilter or <laughs> Fojo. <laughs> All right, so what do we have going on, Andrew? All right, so there is this book called 1,227 Quite Interesting Facts to Blow Your Socks Off. Ooh. It's available on Amazon.com and I'm sure other places. But, um, you know, it's it's like good bathroom reading material. But uh, Ooh, uh, yeah, okay. I know people actually do read in the bathroom, don't they? That's weird. Well, you know, I'm in, <laughs> I'm out. Well, <laughs> well, no, just like sometimes you just need to sit a little longer, and then and then things shift, and then you vent, you know. Well, then maybe you just went in too soon. No. Yeah. No. Like if you got to sit there for 20 minutes, why don't you spend that 15 minutes? No, you're willing your body to f to flush out. I feel like I can do that while I'm doing other stuff. In fact, sometimes I feel like it's more productive to walk around. I'm just saying. Walk around. You know All what right. I'm saying? Well, okay, anyway, we yeah. so Urban Times did a 40 interesting science facts that will blow your socks off. I'm ready. I don't so, even have socks on, so, so let's see how it goes. So they went through that list, and they picked out the 40 most interesting things. And okay. I, I think you guys will find them really interesting. My body is ready. Okay. Well, so the first one is, collectively speaking... Humans have spent longer playing World of Warcraft, which is over six million years, oh. than we have existed as a species separate from chimpanzees. Okay. All right. That sounds bad, right? That sounds like six million years of collective human effort have been wasted. But what if that stat was TV? Like, imagine what that oh number would gosh. be. Oh, my gosh. Right? Yeah. So you, you, but it's still interesting. Yeah, yeah. It is very, yeah. In perspective. Yeah. Right? And, uh, and you guys are gaming gaming type. Uh, so a uh, little community. chat room update. Uh, Rikai says that sometimes you just got to relax and browse the interwebs. It's a safe place in a lot of people's homes. That's actually a good point. Mm -hmm. The bathroom is sometimes the only place where you're not going to have somebody bugging you. Uh, and uh, Really? Because have... I tend to have like three kids. In fact, I have a picture of Dylan like yeah, well... staring right at <laughs> me, right in front of me while I'm trying. What you doing, mom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, and, and Abby, she stands in the doorway like, I'm going to stay here forever. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That does happen, too. Uh, some people consider it their panic room where they can just go in there. I'm seeing that. So that's why they spend some time in there. Uh, somebody in here, I, didn't want, I don't want to name names, says his wife spends hours <laughs> reading in the bathroom every week. Wow. Maybe you know I should start doing that. <laughs> think about it, right? You get a tablet in there, something maybe you could watch some faux show while you're pooping. It's actually a pretty good combination. I'd rather do that while I take a bath. Yeah, Relax, that but. too, yeah. All right, number two. A dog has the same e ecological footprint as two Toyota Land Cruisers. A cat has the same environmental effect as a Volkswagen Golf, and two hamsters the same as a plasma TV. I don't buy it. All right. Think about, like, cat litter. There's no way cat litter doesn't have a larger environmental toll. No way. No, it says uh, the cat has the same environmental effect as a Volkswagen Golf. Yeah, but it says a dog has the same footprint as what? Scroll up a little bit. It's a Toyota, two Toyota Land Cruisers. Yeah, well, the Land Cruiser takes way more gas, and it's <laughs> it's it, Land Cruisers are big vehicles, and it's saying a dog is two of them. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, a cat has a lifetime of cat litter. Give me a break. Well, no way. The cat only is- Only indoor cats- well, I think that's what they're talking about here. Oh, they would say indoor cat if it All was All right, well, indoor. if it's an outdoor cat, I'll give you that, yeah. All right, uh, in 1251, Henry III was given a polar bear by the King of Norway. He kept it in the Tower of London on wow. a long chain so that it could swim in the Thames. <laughs> so wow. that's interesting. Yeah. 
Um, and this is crazy. Until the 1960s, the only reliable pregnancy test was to inject a woman's urine into a female African clawed frog. If the woman was pregnant, the frog would ovulate within 12 hours. Until 1960s. And uh, apparently there was also um, injecting urine into rabbits and they would die <laughs> if, if the woman was pregnant. Like there's a lot. Yeah, it's so crazy. This, you know, pee stick tests. Yeah. Epic. <laughs> yeah, that's, way, that's a way better system than having to kill a rabbit. Um, or are you injecting a frog? So Skooky Sprite says it is still the only pregnancy test um, that he regards as accurate. Well, I mean, when when you want to go OG tests, I mean, that's the way to go. Uh, that's why we have a collection of frogs at the uh, okay. Fisher household. So Corky is uh, correcting me that it's pronounced Thames. What, what are we? I don't even know what you're talking about. The Thames that I said. Oh, oh, okay. Same in the. Really? T H A M E. All right, moving on. It doesn't matter. A M E S. I mean, it matters, but not not enough. <laughs> okay. About 65 billion neutrinos will pass through your fingernail in a second. Yeah. These are, neutrinos are a pretty cool thing. They just pass through all kinds of stuff. Yeah. That's really weird. Yeah. Well, the sun's, the sun's a busy place. Um, okay. If all the Lego bricks ever manufactured were clipped on top of one another, they would make a tower 10 times as high as the distance to the moon. Well, then we should do that. That just makes sense. <laughs> and well, then, then, we got a, then we got an easy way to get to the moon. At and least. then burn them with fire 10 times. Well, Ten there times will, the Angela, there will become a time when the moon battles begin because as we all know, there is a race that lives inside the surface, just below the surface of the moon. And they're just waiting for their opportunity to come here and get their oceans back because they originally were of the earth until the great separation Science fact. I'm just, you know, waiting for somebody to actually prove that they know the distance to the moon. <laughs> let's not go down that route. Okay, let's not let's not do that. Let's All right. <laughs> Light would take 0.13 seconds to travel around the Earth. I knew that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Me and Light were tight. If you, <laughs> if you drilled a tunnel straight through the Earth and jumped in, it would take you exactly 42 minutes and 12 seconds to get to the other side. Not me. Oh, yeah? I'd have a rocket pack. <laughs> Maybe half the time. Yep. Um, I guess that would be a slow rocket pack, though, because you'd be falling at, at speed Dude, of gravity. Dude, do you want me to spend a ton of money on a rocket pack, or do you <laughs> want me to buy the budget rocket pack? All right. This is bizarre. All right. What do you got? A medium-sized cumulus cloud weighs about the same as 80 elephants. Wow. I never thought about clouds weighing something, but, but of course, yeah, yeah, but but and, still, and, they and, look so fluffy and light, and well, they're you know in the what? sky. You think about it. Think about it. They look so big. Think about how far away that is. Well, that's true. So yeah. they're huge. Yeah. I know. Can you imagine like what the clouds weigh like when you're on an airplane and you can see like just uh, that's all you can see is I clouds? Wish, I wish there was a I wish there was an app you could take. That you would take a picture of the clouds and it would use your elevation and your GPS coordinates and then the, and look at all of it and be like, that cloud is four football fields in size or something like that. I wish there right, was like right. it could tell you what it was because they're yeah. probably ginormous in oh size. Oh my gosh, that would be really cool. Yeah. I bet there's a formula, some ridiculous math. That yeah, you if I was use. math smart, I could probably figure it yeah, out. Yeah, you've been mathed. Um, okay, so this is a really good point. Anonymous says, wouldn't you just sink to the core as gravity would pull you to the core? Well, that's why Earth? I have a jetpack. I know, but they the the fact said that you would it would take forty two minutes to get to the other side. Uh, you would think actually, as you approach the core, you would be speeding up because of the gravity. So you would actually because gravity would be would pulling down. you down. Well, you would build up enough speed. Plus, you got a jetpack. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> plus, you got a jetpack. You would just blast right out. So hmm. I don't know about that actually. Okay. All right. What do, what's your next science fact? A single bolt of lightning contains enough energy to cook hundred thousand pieces of toast. Yep. Yep. Or fifty thousand pizzas. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just Jeez. Saying. <laughs> okay, he made that up. I'm like, where did you pull that from? There's no way that you have that Hold fact. On, Hold on, Hold <laughs> on. Fact. <laughs> there it is. Goes. Science fact. <laughs> All right. Oh, science fact. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. There are eight times as many atoms in a teaspoon of water than there are teaspoons of water in the Atlantic Ocean. Wow. Eight times as many atoms in one teaspoon of water as there are... What? Teaspoons of water in the Atlant Atlantic Ocean. Well, you know what else is crazy? There is uh, face. There are seven times as many atoms in our lower third than in most lower thirds. <laughs> of the, because you know why? Why? The, the, the font. Yeah, the font actually takes up seven more atoms than your typical lower third. Okay. Scientific, atoms? Yeah. Scientifically engineered down to the atom, Ange. Wow. All right, what's our next time? I thought about? you meant atom like A-D-A-M. <laughs> uh, I meant atom like cheese bacon. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, if the sun were the size of a beach ball, then Jupiter 
what represent? Jupiter would be the size of a golf ball. Okay. And the Earth would be as small as a pea. Oh. Yeah. So that's small. Puts in perspective, doesn't it? Yeah. Meanwhile, is... we fight over the stupid dirt. Yeah. And we're just a tiny infinitesimal little uh, hairless monkeys. Yep. The average person walks the equivalent of three times around the world in a lifetime. That's pretty cool. That makes me want to walk around the world. <laughs> like, like if I'm going to do all that work anyways, I wish I could travel. Yeah. Well, okay, but I mean- what the average lifespan is like seventy or eighty years, so I mean that's a long time to pack in three times around the world. I know, but it's just like, hey, if if I'm gonna do all this effort, I could at least also travel at the same time and get like a little world taste because I feel like you know, like if it was just like, hey, dog, you're gonna walk around a couple times around the United States. Good job, bro. And I'm like, okay, cool, Brock. I can live with that. But if it's like the whole world, man, that's I feel like I'm getting cheated. Um, so yeah, Skooky Sprite said uh, exactly, Chris. I think I think he agrees with you on the. Thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. Yes. Um, you know, it's funny when you said bra. Um, what's, what's that, bra? One of my uh, clerk friends got a sign that said uh, ovaries before broveries. <laughs> <laughs> broveries is stretching. Though. That's great. It's, no, that's stretching. I love it. All right. Okay. All right. Next science fact. Uh, if you could drive your car straight up, you would arrive in space in just over an hour. I've I've actually wondered about that. Yeah. Yeah. So so forty two minutes to get to the other side of the Earth, but straight up, straight up, just over an hour. Makes space. sense why they go this way. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I've also wondered too, though, like if you started off like and you went and you, and you just flew straight for mm -hmm. a while and just mm -hmm. out, like how long would that take too? But mm. yeah, remember how you mentioned you use Plurk? That's funny. Next science fact. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Somebody tagged me. Um, it would take the same amount of time to travel through the Earth to get from Seattle to Florida as it would to get to Australia. And uh, no, I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, unless you have a jetpack. More germs are transferred shaking hands than kissing. Oh, well, there you go, sweetie. Which is interesting because I thought our mouth had like the most germs and bacteria. Yeah, anything, but you know, you're not so. touching everything with your mouth. This is like, you know, you're well, touching doorknobs, toilets. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, I'm sorry. What? Hold on. You know, what? <laughs> no, like, you know, like if you poop, you're wiping yourself and then you wash. But did you wash good enough? And then you grab a doorknob and somebody else. Yeah, has but got... don't you ever like smell your hand after and accidentally touch your mouth? <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, no, that's love... no, sweetie, that's farts. That's farts. <laughs> no, I mean, after you wipe. No. Okay. No. I do not ever do that, ever. No, I do not. Do you do that? No. Okay, are you sure? Because it sounds like you might do that, but no. now you're backing out of it. I'm just throwing out awesomeness. Okay, so just a scenario? <laughs> okay, this is a scenario. All right. So, yeah, I could see how it could be hands, totally. I guess long story short. Hey, uh, Skooky Sprite at one point said exactly Angela, and I'm going to say that he agreed with the, the, with the whole- The sniffing? Mouth, no, the mouth touching everything. Oh, well, it depends on what your mouth touches, I have I no suppose. idea. Hey, yeah. you know. Um, all right, all right. Okay. Oh, so Count Zero's got it. So uh, he said, so what you're saying is whenever I meet a woman, I should just kiss her rather than shake her hand. <laughs> yeah. we, let's just kiss. It's less germy. <laughs> Plus, like if you're drinking- Alcohol actually, you know, kills some germs. So, like, if you if you're at a even bar, even more so, right? Yeah. So I can right. tell that. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> my mouth is clean. <laughs> my my, my wife the... is going to slap me in a minute. Oh, okay. All right. What's our next science fact before we okay. get too much trouble? The human brain takes 11 million bits of information every second, but you're only aware of 40. I don't know how they're measuring that, but I love that. I love that in a lot of ways. First of all, suck at computers. You robots think you've got us? Beat <laughs> this. First of all, you're years off from this robot, so screw you, number one. Number two, what I love about this is it tells me the brain is so autonomous that it is able to process all this stuff. And, and like as me, I only, like, I only have to be cognizant of, of some of that. Mm -hmm. That's a great system. Yeah. That's a really great system. It's like a heads-up display built into my display Well, I and would, my feelings. I would be curious, Is it, since we're taking that information in, um, is it possible to tap into it later, even though we only focused on 40? Well, no. I mean, because... You know, it's going to depend on, I mean, then how, how's the brain storing it? What is it? How do you refer to that information? Because it's yeah. not like, so where the robots beat us is there a one-to-one, -one, you know, bit copy of what actually happened. Where the human brain is an impression, right? It's a network of, of, of connections. I mean, the robots in the long run will obviously rule us all. But for right now, I think we haven't beat until they get like Thunderbolt 3 or something. Mm -hmm. All oh. right, next science fact. Um, so a red blood cell can make a complete circuit of your body in 20 seconds. Whoa. Right? 
Wow. I know. What path is it taking? <laughs> is that like when I'm running or is that just like... I don't know. But wow. like, yeah, I mean, obviously it's going to be different in people that have thicker or thinner blood, but wow. Yeah. Um, I don't think all cells travel that fast, but it, I think maybe at the fastest it could do that. This is crazy. Okay. The, the strongest creatures on earth are gonorrhea bacteria. Gonorrhea? Mm-hmm. They can pull 100,000 times their body weight. What? Right? Um, okay. I know. How's that even First possible? First of all, wow. Second of all, what are they pulling? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are they pulling? <laughs> Probably whatever. I mean, gonorrhea bacteria is like it gets inside people. They're, they're so pulling like, on their guts? Or ours. Our guts I'm just or saying, I don't, I don't understand what's going on over there. Uh, but that's pretty crazy. It's like they're the ants of bacteria. Yeah. Only like they could kick ants' butts. Yeah. Uh, gonor- you know what? Gonorrhea seems bad. So yeah. I can understand <laughs> And died of gonorrhea. Um, all right. One in 10 European babies is conceived in an Ikea bed. Not much science on this one, but funny enough to know. Are they just basing it on sales? So for Happy Valentine's Day, see you in nine months, they, they give you a free crib for babies that are born nine months from that. I take issue with this one. Why? Well, so the, here's how they're deriving this statistic. Okay. They are taking all of the beds sold in Europe. Mm-hmm. Which and then, apparently is primarily from Ikea. Right. But the massive flaw here is assuming that people hump on the bed. <laughs> like, there's the couch, the floor, <laughs> the shower. Like, a lot of people hump yeah. all over the house. And right. so, like, just because I have a bed from Ikea does not mean I'm conceiving on it. Right. That's true. Yeah. So, I, I think that's... That's just a marketing gimmick. All right. Last one, and then we'll talk about ding. Oh, okay. The average person accidentally eats 430 bugs each year of their life. All oh, right. Oh, come on. Seriously, Ange? <laughs> I know, right? No. It's pretty gross. Gosh. I don't like that one. I'll tell you what I do. Like, let's reset. Yep. Because that was disgusting. Before you get to that one, I want to thank the great folks over at Ting. So go to foe.ting. Dot com. That lets them know, hey, I heard about this on the Faux Show, and I really appreciate Ting supporting my favorite Jupiter Broadcasting show. So it gives us a little credit, but it's even better because it gets you $25 off your first device. And if you already have a device, it'll give you $25 of Ting credit. And like me, that actually paid for more than my first month of Ting. 98% of people who switch to Ting save money because here's how they work. It's awesome. You only pay for what you use. It's a flat $6 per month. And then it's your usage on top of that, plus your taxes or anything like that. And Ting's a really cool company. In fact, Ange has their Instagram feed up right now. Yep. They have a, I think it's on Monday, they're giving away a, a Galaxy phone. So you might want to check out their feed for that because that's they're going to do a free giveaway. And uh, yeah, there you go right there. And they've also got brand new devices on the Ting network. They got the HTC One M8 and the new Samsung Galaxy S5. So you can go over there and uh, <laughs> you can. <laughs> what are you doing, Ange? What are you doing? <laughs> hey, Ange, because Ting is mobile that. Makes sense. Hey, there you go. There you go. So go to fo.ting.com to get started. Check them out. And I thought you might like this. Check out. They got okay. a, they're doing this new blog. Uh, this, this gal who's just recently started working for them, I believe, is doing like financial stuff on their blog, like okay. money management stuff. Sure, yeah. Six things you can end up, that end up costing you more if you buy them used. Oh, interesting. All right. So number one, computers. Yeah. And I'll, I'll leave it to you guys to go read okay. the, the description if you want. Number two. Digital cameras. Digital cameras. That makes some sense. Yeah. I always buy new. Number three, vacuum cleaners. Well, okay. So, uh, or you just buy a $1,200 one, right? Wow. That was literally like eight years ago. I okay. don't care. It was a $1,200 <laughs> vacuum. I still okay. have it. I, it's Mattress- right around the corner. Do you want me to go no. get it? It's right there. No, it's not. It is literally right around oh, the yeah, corner. It is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, ma- right. Mattresses and bedding, fine jewelry, fine jewelry, tires, and tires. Yeah. Yeah. So, definitely not tires. The Ting blog has all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's I, really cool. And, yeah, they do. They 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 branch out. Yeah, and the, including also just in, like service updates and things like that. As a customer, mm-hmm. I really appreciate the kind of the insight it gives me into the company Oops. and and a heads up. And because I'm an, also uh, a phone enthusiast, I like to kind of read about what they're thinking about as far as devices go and what devices they have available. And and the other thing is, is they're they're very approachable. Mm-hmm. Not only do they have no hold customer support, you can call them at one eight five five ting FTW anytime between eight a.m. or eight p.m. Eastern. Real person answers the phone like. Literally, like, hand, like, hey, what's up? And they'll solve your problem. <laughs> but on top of that, you can also reach out to them, like, on social networks, like on Twitter and things like that, and they'll respond to you there. Mm-hmm. Um, there's the uh, unboxing video where you can find out more about the giveaway they'll be doing right there on their Twitter feed. You can find them at twitter.com slash tingftw. Yep. In fact, if you wanted to tweet at tingftw and say thanks for supporting the foe, mm-hmm. we'd definitely appreciate that. So go to foe.ting.com to get started. Go save yourself some money. Try out their savings calculator 
Just put your information to that and really look at that. I bet you the number you could see come back from that could buy you could buy you a new computer almost every year. So it's mm-hmm. definitely worth considering. Make sure you're getting the value out of your mobile plan because these phones aren't going away. So it's time to start saving money. Fo.ting.com. And thank you to the very great folks over at Ting for supporting the Fo Show. Or as we like to say, Elfo Show. Elfo Show. All right, Andrews, what's our next science fact? All right, there are more living organisms on the skin of each human than there are humans on the surface of the earth. Gross. Yep. Um, Each person sheds 40 pounds of skin in his or her lifetime, and this is the most disgusting graphic I have ever seen. Yes, and also gross. So hold hold on. uh, (laughs) No, the stat is gross. Will you read the stat back to me? Each person sheds 40 pounds of skin in his or her lifetime. Man, living with people is so disgusting. <laughs> um, males produce 1,000 sperm cells each second. 1,000 sperm cells each second. 80, I've been busy during this show. 86 million each day. Yeah, well, so, okay. And what have you been doing? When, well, when you're producing milk. <laughs> oh, she's got the milk angle. You No, come on. You burn calories because sure. your body is manufacturing milk. It's, yeah. it's such a weird thing. I've, I've breastfed three kids. It is so weird. But I wonder... If producing sperm burns calories. <laughs> I'd like to think so. And what I like to think is while I'm working up here, making the shows downstairs, I'm getting the business done. <laughs> you know? Like, you're all up here. Like, all your productivity is happening here to here. But my productivity, whew, a full body experience. Yeah. <laughs> all right, next science fact. All right, one in 2,000 babies is born with a tooth. No kidding? Yeah, that's weird. Yikes. Talk about rough nursing from the start. Human saliva contains a painkiller called... Um, opiorphin that is six times more powerful than morphine. Then why are we not and extracting I, that and selling I don't, it? Yeah, and I don't even want to talk about it because even just saying saliva, it just bothers yeah, me. Yeah, but if you could extract that chemical and, and make drink, some... drink spit, I mean like... Well, it would wow. just be the chemical from the spit. I guess, yeah. In like a bubblegum flavor, so it'd be delicious. There. Girls have more taste buds than boys do, which also explains why I have an impeccable sense of smell. Impeccable. Well, yeah. It is. Like one time he- did you, did, Hey, did you have Thai food six hours ago? No, no. Or like, um, did you did you have blueberries? <laughs> but he's like, yeah, but I've had something else since then. <laughs> yeah. How did you even know? <laughs> and, I, and I was like not in like a probably acro- like across the room from her at the time too. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, when a flea jumps, the rate of acceleration is 20 times that of the space shuttle during launch. Dang. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah. Um, gorillas and potatoes have two more chromosomes than humans do. Oh. Yeah. Brag, why don't they? <laughs> a pig's orgasm lasts for 30 minutes. Okay. Kind of makes me wish I'll be a pig in a future life. <laughs> How do they know that, though? And then ah. <laughs> also, like, if you do believe in reincarnation, is the pig the ultimate thing to become? Yeah. Is right? that like the reward animal? Even though know. we look at it as like this sloppy, dirty animal, is maybe right? the and universe's way to reward you for being a good... And some Whatever, re- over all the decades, some you've become a pig. Some religions won't even eat it. <laughs> yeah. Um, all makes right. Makes sense. Koalas sleep an average of 22 hours a day. Two, oh, my gosh. Two hours more than and a sloth. Hold on. Hold on. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. Okay. But does this not explain bacon? What? The pig orgasm thing. Bacon. What? Maybe bacon is delicious because pigs have 20-minute orgasms. 30 minute and I don't even, what? I'm just saying, maybe that's why bacon's delicious. You mean the awesome taste is orgasm? Well, like the meat's happy. <laughs> you know, it's happy meat. <laughs> Charum agrees with me. Wow. See, Charum, look at this. Kooky Sprite is just Charum's all over constantly with, yeah. exactly. Yeah, he's, he's got it. He's, <laughs> all right, sorry. Repeat your science okay. fact. Koalas sleep an average of 22 hours a day, two hours more than the sloth. Man. Which is kind of crazy. Yeah, only awake two hours I'd take a day. that, actually, over the pig, to be honest with you. The African elephant gestates for 22 months. <sighs> what a waste. That's almost two years of being pregnant. Man. Um, a dog's sense of smell is a thousand times more sensitive than a human. Except for Angela's. And 500 times more sensitive than mine. <laughs> 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 Octopuses have three hearts. Only two you, of, of you can break. <laughs> oh. Klingons have two hearts. Ooh, that's cool. Um, at over 2,000 kilometers long, the Great Barrier Reef is the largest living structure on Earth. Yeah, and we need to respect that thing, too. That's really cool. That is huge, isn't it? Mm-hmm. The name of the first human being in the Norse mythology is Ask. A-S-K. 
And I'm not sure what to do with that. Yeah, I don't know. Eh. Some people like mythology. Um, the queen is the legal owner of one-sixth of the Earth's land surface. Yeah. yeah, we don't think about that much. This is kind of funny. And now you're just some countries that I used to know. <laughs> or used own. To own. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, as it grows, sweet corn makes a squeaking noise like two balloons rubbing against each other. Hmm. Isn't that cool? No. I think it's cool. I mean, I wouldn't want to hear that it. that drawing. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's an interesting can, fact, but I oh, wouldn't want to Oh, can you imagine that. standing in the middle of the field while it's growing? All right. Oh, what okay. is that? That's not a real picture. Okay, good. Okay, it's makeup. But oh, my gosh. Wound, oh. Wound, okay. <laughs> Wounds infested with maggots heal oh. quickly and without spe- oh. spread of gangrene and other Get it infection. Get off the screen. All right. Oh. Biologically speaking, bugs are insects that suck. Hold on. I, uh, before you go to that, I mean, the, the, the mega thing is interesting. I just didn't want to look at it. I, I mean, that that is like a way to keep... Oh, don't put it up on the... Okay, ma- I got a thing with maggots, Ange. Get it off the screen, okay? <laughs> okay. I do not want to see that. But it is an interesting thing and uh, something that yeah. they used to do back in the day to keep a wound clean, which yeah. is disgusting. Yeah. They're nature's well, little workers. Leeches and yeah. maggots. All right, yeah. last one. If the oh. five trillion spiders in the Netherlands took to eating humans rather than insects, oh. they'd consume all 16.7 million Dutch people in just three days. Well, I mean, yeah. They're delicious, though. That's insane. I would S- Spiders or d- Dutch people? <laughs> Dutch people, you can't have enough. You can't just have one. <laughs> okay. Well, so that is Could all- you please get that off the screen? That Thank is you. the 40 uh, quite interesting facts that'll blow your socks off out of the 1,227. If you liked those, there's probably more like that there that you can get. I can testify my socks are indeed off right now. So- You know what else <laughs> blew my socks off this week? A new Jupiter signal. A woo. Yep. I did uh, I did a really awesome Jupiter signal. Look, I redid the top, you know, with the new logo. I and, like that. And a PR40. Which is our- with the See the signal? Jupiter, yeah, yeah. signal. Jupiter, signal. Oh, my gosh. I know. Um, so uh, in it, we talked about the uh, Coda Radio 100, which I've got right here. The new T-shirt, you mean, Ange? Yep. At teespring.com slash CR100. Yes, indeed. There's one day, five hours left. Um, we've sold 204 out of 100, so when you buy it, it'll automatically um Yeah, and I'm loving the uh, I'm loving the orange. Did, 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 can, yeah. can I get one of these? Did we get one of these? Yeah. I get, what about? Did we get me a red? Yes. What we, about gray? No. Oh, I think I want a gray one. Oh. I think I want a gray one. Well, I got I got you a red and an orange and two black. Thank you. I appreciate I that. Yeah. So teespring.com slash cr100. Go to the hoodie. I got myself the Helv- Helvica or whatever. So I didn't get any hoodies. The pink one. I I didn't get any hoodie. Um. No, I think I got you a dark green hoodie. A green? I can't wear green on camera though. Uh-huh. Better give me a navy one, huh? Oh, yeah. No, I think that is what I got. Oh, I'll, good. I'll have to check. Okay. Um, well, anyway, uh, and then also, faux show, show me your buns. I still only have one submission. Uh-oh. Uh, is this going to be our first fail award show ever? It might be. Like, yeah. It might so, It might just have to be a show about that person. <laughs> so what we, what we asked is we wanted to see you with Angela's faux show buns. So here's Angela's faux buns. Two basic buns up at the top. And if you can do the little twisties. No, no, no. See, it, you doesn't don't have even, to, it doesn't even have to be hair. You can just grab like buns, present bows, or, yeah. and or then, a and wig, then or whatever. Take a selfie and send or it to Or a picture of somebody else yeah. with them. It doesn't send matter. Send it to Angela at jupiterbroadcasting.com. Um, or go over to jupiterbroadcasting.com slash contact. Click the photo in the drop down and, and choose the file attachment option. Mm-hmm. But we've only gotten one submission. <laughs> Which means if you guys don't submit, Chris is going to pick an episode and it's going to be something you don't like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, also in the newsletter, um, you can look at all the people wearing the last 300 swag. Awesome. Um, Unfiltered joined Patreon and that is exciting. And it's a, a pretty neat thing. I'm getting tons of cancellations on PayPal and Amazon payments. This is a brand new, much more transparent and upfront way where we're going to uh, finance the Unfilter show. Unfilter is sponsor free because it's a new show. We want to have, we want to be answerable to our audience. The whole idea is instead of trying to get the most clicks, we try to have the most accurate and unbiased uh, conversation we can have around the topics of the week. And so having a user-funded, a listener-funded show means that we're answerable to you guys. So if you go to patreon.com slash unfilter, you can become a Patreon, a patron of Unfilter. Uh, we've got our goals listed. We've reached our first two goals, 
And we've got our further out goals listed on what we can get once we get different funding. But it gives you guys a very, I mean, it's right there. The dollar amount that we're going to make is right there. The number of people supporting our show is right there. And the great thing about this new system is when you become a supporter through Patreon, you immediately get access to the Unfilter Sync and Supporter Show. Whereas before you had to wait for that week's newsletter, now you get access to it immediately. And also, there's a community discussion forum amongst other unfiltered supporters so there is now a new jupiter broadcasting community forming over on this patreon page of people who are the guys that keep us on the air the guys and gals who keep unfiltered on the air every week uh and it's so it's those folks get to now talk amongst each other see the other names if they want to share that or their usernames of the other folks who keep the show on the air it's a really cool system i like this one Hey, everybody. So this is the new Situation Room. Don't see any pictures of Abby here. <laughs> Come on, Chris Chase. Put down the burgers and get to it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Um, and then uh, there's also a limited number of $33, $33 a month where you uh, get an automatic um, and filter swag. You'll receive yep. one one uh, free item when we do swag for the Unfilter Show if you go to that pledge amount. Now, that's just when we do swag, you get a free item. It's not necessarily on a set schedule, and there's only 12 of those available right now. Yep. After that, we've limited it to 33 individuals. But those supporters, those folks not only are going the extra mile to keep the Unfilter Show on the air, but- like we have episode 100 coming up soon when mm -hmm. we do, which I'm sure we're going to do an episode 100 shirt when we do it. They're just going to get that shirt as part of their unfiltered subscription. Mm -hmm. It's a really cool way to just built in swag is, and also keep a show on the air. Yep. Yeah. Speaking of uh, shows on the air, how to Linux is, is coming up. There's Soon. been lots of planning with the producers and, uh, <clears throat> yep. And Which is definitely, uh, I think going to be the most uh, unique show on the network. Number one, uh, number two, it's going to have uh, a lot of most uh, ambitious kind of things we're going to undertakings. We've already just what we we already have planned. I'm really excited about, but it's not quite there yet. But it's very soon. It's going to be coming out. Okay, and then there's uh, Linux Fest Northwest. Uh, one thing I did is I I did a swag giveaway. Um, people actually read <laughs> the newsletter <laughs> <laughs> and clicked on the uh, the form. Oh, is, so in the newsletter, there's a spot to get some swag? Yes. Nice. Uh, I had leftover stickers, but unfortunately, well. They used them up. I only had 20. I actually had 25. I took 25 names, and then I closed Close. closed it. So um, that's no longer available. But One of my favorite pictures from Linux Fest Northwest in the newsletter, too. Yep. If you want to uh, get the newsletter, go to bit.ly forward slash Jupiter Signal and sign up. And uh, and then there will be more opportunities of that. Yes. I also had a what's new section. Coda Radio is at a new time and Faux Show is at a new time. Nice. And then we'll be sending out a new special, or well, of course a new, we'll send out a special edition newsletter that talks about the new studio and different things uh, that, that we ran into and just about that. And a little announcement about Cybyte's two-year anniversary coming up just around the corner. Yep. May 25th. Um, it'll so be two tuned. years. And I linked to the very first Cybyte. The one Ever? with the gravity one, yeah. yeah. That's oh, a great man, episode. It, yeah, it's Isn't really that, funny. In like the first 10 seconds, it just answers like a lot of things. It's, it's really yeah. cool. And it's linked in the in the newsletter. It's a good one to watch uh, and and uh, such a fun show. It's been, that's a great show, Sidebot. You should go check it out. Now that it's reached two years, I mean, why not? Good time Good time to jump in. Yep. And now um, uh, Arm1E, Army? Are you talking Army? about the chat room? Yeah, asked if Amazon is still an affiliate. Um, just UK and Canada's ones are still open or still available, and so you can click those through the yep, newsletter. If you're in that those areas, you can still support us, UK or Canada. Mm -hmm. We'll let you know if those get shut down, but right now those are where we're active at. So we appreciate you supporting us through those links if you're in those areas. And uh, I think not only are they linked in the newsletter, but they're linked at the bottom of jupiterbroadcasting.com. All right, Andrew, is there anything else we're going to cover? Nope, that's it for this. Oh, get that I out know, there. I know, Jeez, I know, I know. I'm with there. the spiders, with the spiders, Ange. Gosh. All uh, right, I think next week we'll either, um, it might be a barbecue topic. Oh. Or it might be a versus. Oh, yeah. either way, I'm I know. down for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This should be really fun. And so. I got to, if we do go the versus route, I got a really fun game. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and if you have suggestions, email me. Oh, yeah. Angela JupiterBroadcasting.com. And don't forget, you can also follow her on Twitter. She is twitter.com slash Angers. With a with Z. A Z. Yes. With, <laughs> a, yeah, with, a, with a Z. All right. And we'd also love to have you. Hold on. We'd love, we'd, have, we'd love to have you join us live. Go over to jblive.tv. The whole stream starts off around oh. what? What? Bronman's right. Sci-Bite is three years, not two. Oh, well, are you it's sure? 2011. Heather told me two years. It's 2011. Well, then three years. That's even better. Darn it. 
Well, I don't know. We'll double check. We'll yeah. double check because that was Heather's number. So we'll double check. Okay. Uh, but what the uh, but it might maybe she might be factoring in the breaks too. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Might be two years of episodes on the air. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways, what I wanted to say is Angela did mention the faux show is at a different time. What we're doing now is we've put the faux show right after Linux Action Show, and what's kind of cool about that is the faux show started as an after show of Jupiter at night. Mm -hmm. And it really is awesome because if you come in around 9.30 a.m. Pacific time over jblive.tv or jblive.info and then just hang out for the rest of the day, you can watch the Linux Action Show and all the hijinks that go on on the live stream. Mm -hmm. And you can watch the faux. Plus, we have an intermission video and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff live. And you get to hang out in our lower third and contribute to the show. So and an really FFU. And the post show, which is never released publicly because yeah. sometimes Angela shows her butt. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, take us out, Andrew. All right, that's it for this episode of The Faux Show. We'll see you next week. Did you enjoy this Faux Show? Well, guess what? You can catch more at jupiterbroadcasting.com and subscribe to the weekly RSS feed. Did you like that Faux Show? <laughs> Put in your ear hole, sucker. <laughs> take a picture of the last line. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Sunday, May 8th. <laughs> you know what would be cool is a catheter. Like, <laughs> just something like if I could just. Yeah? You want something in your uterine? <laughs> well, no, I just want something I could just cap the, the tip and then just like pop it on and then like. like. Oh, yeah, a condom catheter. Yeah. yeah. And then like if I could just pee right now, I could have a genuine look of enjoyment. Like, I love pee. Remember, <clears throat> uh, if, if you want to catch. Cap capture my attention, please use my name. Oh, jeez, that thing again? So that I get tagged on the iPad. On the proprietary garbage.